This is Dr. Ambrose Osterholt, log entry 24 for the Center of Rage Research. My opinions no longer hold with that of the status quo. I no longer believe that the rage was some bungled attempt by Alain Vital Pharmaceuticals to try and create a version 2 of the Regen Nanite. The Regen Nanite was a clever little blighter, but it was still just a tiny machine. A computer that worked at the molecular level to keep the human body in prime condition. The Rage Nanite is not a machine at all. I truly believe that it is a biological entity. A creature with a will of its own and the ability to replicate at an alarming rate once introduced to the human bloodstream. There is no way that the Land Vital or any other such company could create such a thing. At extremely magnified levels, the look of this creature is truly terrifying. They look like aggressive little insects. In fact, we now refer to them around here as being Namites instead of Nanites. <laughs> that was my idea. Is it at least possible that the rage Namite is of extraterrestrial origin? Something that came down on a stray fragment of rock, or maybe even subterrestrial. Let's face it, there is so much about the world beneath our feet and at the bottom of our deepest ocean trenches that we are yet to discover. Something we should further consider, I believe. Dr. Ambrose Osterholt, log entry 24, signing off.
Dr. Julia Pearson for the Centre of Rage. This is Dr. Julia Pearson for the Centre of Rage Research. I fear this will be my final log entry. I'm showing early signs of infection and it's unlikely the extraction team will reach me in time. All of my research notes are stored on my computer, which is in my office on the upper floor of the hospital. It is vital you get this information back to HQ. I had to turn the power off to the building and the electrical activity was drawing the attention of the infected, so you are going to need to restore the power to the building before you can access my computer. This can be done from the keypad in the power control room in the hospital basement. The access code is 23021971. Be warned, this field position has been compromised. A section of roof gave way on the upper floor a few days ago, leading to constant incursions from the infected. Turning the power on again will definitely draw them in. I am the only one left here now. All those that were stationed here with me decided to exit through the sewer system after the roof gave way. I hope they find somewhere safe to await to rescue. I stayed behind in the hope I could brief you on my research personally. That isn't going to happen now. Dr. Julia Pearson, signing off for the final time.